What's up everyone, Sean Count Blackrith here today with CD Collection Part I Do Not Know. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm picking up where I left off. Knock Vistium, The Silencing Machine, awesome album, Blake Judd's a terrible piece of shit. But this album is just really good. Uh, <clears throat> the voice is cracking. Absolutely love this album. It's definitely uh, a far cry from... Uh, oh, dropped it. Going down. Um, it's definitely a far cry from what he used to do, and it's definitely a lot different than the metal albums they did, like uh, Assassins and Addicts. I didn't really like those. Um, but I really like that because it combines a little bit of psychedelia with like the more straightforward black metal sounds. Really dig that one. Next, some excellent melodic black metal from Sweden, Nagelfar with Harvest. I got this for a buck fifty from CM Distro a few years back. Love this album so much. Uh, one of the songs on here, uh, The Darkest Road, I used to practice my vocals to all the time. With a bonus DVD. Definitely check out the song Darkest Road. That's one of my favorites from them. New Nails album, You'll Never Be One of Us. I'm going to be showing this actually in an update video, which is stupid because I'm showing it here, but fuck you. Uh, yeah, new album from them. Excellent stuff. As I said, I'll go more into detail that later. Up next, Nige et Noisir with Hymns de la Montague Noir. I have no idea what that even means. I know I said that completely wrong. But this is some high quality black metal from Quebec. Very ambient. Uh, very diverse sounding in terms of their sound. They go from like that very blistering raw black metal to very ambient soundscapes. Definitely a fan of that. Next, Nepelheim, self-titled, uh, from Sweden. These dudes are, this is just a classic album. If you don't know this, there's a problem. Uh, some excellent black thrash. Definitely first wave of black metal inspired, but it's definitely way more black and than a lot of the shit that came out of the first wave. But, uh, this is some excellent stuff. One of my favorite songs off this has to be, uh, Possessed by Evil and, uh, Storm of Satan's Fire. Those songs are just absolutely vicious. Nightbringer, Ego Dominus Truce. Love this album. I love everything that Nightbringer's done. These dudes create some genuinely evil, atmospheric type of black metal. It's definitely not like that pretty atmosphere that a lot of people associate with atmospheric black metal. And I know a lot of people would eviscerate me for even calling them that. But it's really the only way I can describe it. It's just very dense sounding, well produced black metal. Um, just some very genuinely evil ritualistic type of shit and I love this. Definitely a uh, inspiration for my new band Afayukas. So next we got Nightwish box set one. I used to love these guys for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't really listen to them anymore now. So this box set comes with these cards of all the members at that time. I got this for Christmas years and years ago. I haven't, I haven't played any of these in probably like two years. But uh, Nightwish, Angels Fall First. I really like this album. Uh, Elven Path, uh, The Carpenter is just a classic of theirs. Um, uh, Return to the Sea is a great bonus track. I know why the Nightingale sings. And then you also get Oceanborn and... The song Gets to Mean is probably one of my favorite Nightwish songs from the early era. Next, Nightwish with Wishmaster. I definitely dig this album. Um, I just don't listen to it that much, as I said, but I know the Ken Slayer is awesome. Uh, Crownless uh, Dead Boy's Poem. Pretty good shit. Over the Hills and Far Away. Um, I just like that song in Tenth Man Down. I do not have Century Child. I will pick that up sometime just to kind of complete this. Um, Once. This is a pretty decent album. It's not my favorite. I know it's my girlfriend's favorite. Um, 
I like Planet Hell, um, The Siren, Wish I Had an Angel, um, Higher Than Hope, White Knight Fantasy, those are really good tracks, but, uh, overall, just, eh. My favorite, though, and this would get me gutted by my girlfriend, and will, many Nightwish fans would kill me for saying this, but, Dark Passion Play, I love this album still, um, I just love everything on it. I love everything about it. I feel like the vocals are over the top operatic, which I don't, which is like one of the things that turned me off to Nightwish when I first got into them. But I much prefer this one. Uh, Poet and the Pendulum, The Islander, um, Last of the Wild, Seven Days to the Wolves. Great stuff. Bonus disc is an uh, instrumental version of the album. Then we got Made in Hong Kong and various other places, live EP with bonus DVD, has some bonus tracks as well, um, it's got The Escapist, While Your Lips Are Still Red, and a demo version of, uh, Cadence of Her Last Breath. Next, Nile in Their Darkened Shrines, this album is god tier, Una Slayer of the Gods, the, the riffs in that are just so good. Then we got Annihilation of the Wicked, love this album. Another great one from Nile. Um, Lash to the Slave Stick. Uh, Cast Down the Heretic. Um, Annihilation of the Wicked. That song is just huge. Ithophallic from Nile. Love this album. Uh, Papyrus containing the spell to preserve its possessor from attacks against he who is in the water. No, wait, I messed that up. Excuse me. Papyrus containing the spell to preserve its possessor against tax from he who is in the water. That song is sick. Um, Ithophallic, the ending of that is just one of my favorite endings from them. Um, As he creates, so he destroys. Love that. No Existence, uh, Revelation in Existence, I reviewed this, excellent modern death metal. Nocturnal Hellstorm, this is a band from Rochester, New York. They play some great black metal featuring Danny Liker of um, Brutal Truth, fucking Stormtroopers of Death, Anthrax, Nuclear Assault. This is such an awesome album if you're into just straightforward fucking USBM, kind of like Judas Iscariot type of shit. Nocturnal Hell Storm is definitely for you. Uh, Vile Entropy, uh, The Penalty, Ancient Spirit Calls, Lacerated Dawn, The Trial. Great, great, great shit. Next, we got the Nocturnal Mortem split with Graveland. The Spirit Never Dies has this cool spot gloss all over it. Came in that wooden box right there. I like how this has... a. Uh, Spot gloss on it opens up like this. Fucking amazing split. Both bands brought forth some of their best material in a long time. Nocturnal Mortem, though, are just all the way through their discography so solid. Next, we have Nordic Winter. This is Therendy. This was a blind buy I did through Bindrun one time. Marty had this in his distro, I checked it out, and it's pretty decent, rather generic black metal. Not really offensive or anything, but uh, definitely not, like, memorable black metal. This next one, The Fangle with Cadence. Really good progressive, uh, Progressive metal, I guess the only way I could describe it, kind of like the more modern, like, gent, I fucking hate that term, uh, shit. I really like this, some really good songs on it, Salvation, Claymore, uh, Armageddon, uh, Sins of Our Creation, really good album. Next, November's Doom with Blood White, their newest album, excellent stuff, I love this song, Unrest. Excellent tribute to David Gold. This album. Oh, this album. Nunfuck Ritual. In Bondage to the Serpent. If you like slow black metal and you do not know Nunfuck Ritual, dude, you need this in your life. 
This album is retarded good. Uh, once again, Danny Liker on bass. It has Telek from Mayhem on guitar. I forgot who the other guys are, but... Very cool digipack with the spot gloss and all that. Got this for like $3 from Hell's Headbangers, and uh, I love this. If you haven't listened to this, I'm not even going to recommend a track. I mean, maybe Commando Dragon, Mother Queen, or uh, Curse Virgin, Pregnant Whore. Dude... Listen to this. Nunfuck Ritual in Bondage to the Serpent. Slow black metal done right. If you like Inquisition slower tracks, that you will be all over this. Cannot recommend that enough. Next we got Nun Slaughter with Hell's Unholy Fire. Really good album. Fun listen. Nothing that I really listen to that often. This is the two disc set that has the... Uh, live tracks, An Evening at War recorded live at Blind Lemon in Lakewood, Ohio, 1999. One thing I thought was really cool, this, the back of the CD actually has text. It has, uh, it says, Nun Slaughter, Devil Metal. That is so cool. When I saw that for the first time, it blew my gourd. I never saw anything quite like that, but that's really cool. Really fun album. I don't have much from Nun Slaughter. I also have uh, Devil's Conjuries Volume 1, which is a two disc set containing all their tracks from Splits and shit like that. Good stuff. Uh, very hard to get through though because it gets kind of sameish after a while, but definitely enjoy that. The opposite end of the spectrum, we got Obey the Brave with Youngblood, really good metalcore album. Favorite songs off this, uh, Get Real, um, Early Graves, uh, Burning Bridges, Live and Learn, Self Made, It Starts Today, really good stuff. Uh, the opening track, Lifestyle, says it best about these guys. The lyrics who are not trying to reinvent the wheel, we keep it simple, we keep it real, and that's what they do, and I fucking love them for it. Alright, next... Oblivionized with Abhorrent Evolution. Incredible technical death grind. Rest in peace, these guys. I'm so sad they broke up because, uh, God, I fucking love these dudes. This is such an amazing debut EP. If you haven't listened to this, Oblivionized, Abhorrent Evolution, get on it. This is some insane shit. Mind-bending. Absolutely love this. Next we have The Ocean with a Fluxion. Very good album from them. If I'm in the mood for like intronaut style progressive metal, I definitely go with this. If I can open this fucking case. Very solid stuff. I really enjoy The Ocean. Very uh, relaxing progressive metal. Next we got Of Legends with uh, Of Legends, excuse me, with Stranded. Really like this album. Very good, um, sort of metalcore with like an after the burial type influence. Fun as fuck album. Really good shit. Definitely uh, check that out. Next is one of my favorite UK black metal albums, Old Corpse Road, with uh, "Tis Witching Hour" as Spectres We Haunt This Kingdom. UK black metal done absolutely well. It sounds truly British. And I really like that about a lot of bands in black metal is when they make their music sound like, you know, the country they're from. This is just misty fields and forests, mountains, just witchcraft all the way. If you're into early Cradle of Filth, like uh, Principle of Evil Made Flesh and Dusk in Her Embrace, this fucking album is for you. Absolutely love this. Old Corpse Road, Tis Witching Hour. Check out the song Hag of the Mist, uh... The Buried Moon, um, the three-part epic of uh, The Crier of Caliph, I probably said that wrong, uh, Isabel, Queen of Scottish Witches, this whole album is just incredible, one of my favorite autumn listens, I'll be showing these in an update, I'll talk more about them then, but some really good black metal from Louisiana, we got Ominous Omen with Dawn of Godless Age, and just self-titled Omnis, oh, Omnis Hymn, excuse me, Omnis Hymn, self-titled, and uh, 
Dawn of a Godless Age. These two things, albums are excellent. Um, oh, straightforward black metal from Louisiana. Really good shit. Next, One Man Army and the Undead Quartet, Era and Evolution. This was the first CD I bought when I got back into buying CDs on a uh, regular basis. Basically, the story of how I ended up getting this was uh, me and my friend hung out with this kid we went to high school with, and he lived down in the city near us, uh, Utica. And uh, we hung out with him for a bit, and I left my Zune in his car, and we had to drive back to get it. And when we drove back, we are like, well, let's stop at the mall. And when we stopped there, I found this for like six bucks, and I loved it. And then my guitarist saw, like, he never really bought CDs at the time. He was like, dude, these are kind of cool. And he just started buying CDs. And we made a point of every Friday to get a, go down to the mall and pick up a few CDs. And this was one of the first ones that started that. And uh, I really like this album, Such a Sick Boy, uh, Nights in Satan's Service. Uh, Hail the King, really good album. Haven't listened to it in years, though. Next, all this is going to be of the same band, so if you don't like them, just turn the video off now. Opeth, Orchid, excellent debut. Don't really need to say much about that. Uh, in the Mist, She Was Standing. If you don't know that song, fucking go listen to it. Morning Rise, love this album. Uh, definitely a classic in the Opeth discography. Once them starting to become more progressive and build upon the sound that they created on Orchid, Black Rose Immortal. That song's amazing. My Arms Your Hearse. Love this album. Uh, it's not my favorite from them, but it's definitely solid. Uh, definitely like the songs uh, Demon of the Fall, uh, Karma. There's Circle of the Tyrants cover. It's fucking sick. Then we got Candlelight Years from Opeth, which is Orchid, Morning Rise, and My Arms Your Hearse. Bought this simply because I, uh, I'm i an idiot. I thought I only had My Arms Your Hearse, so I picked this up, and I came home and found out I had Morning Rise. So I was like, that's cool. And then I ended up... Uh, just buying a separate CD copy of Orchid. I... Alright, this is the next one in the discography, I believe. Uh, Still Life, love this album. I do not have Blackwater Park. I'm missing that. I will have that. I just want to get the 5.1 edition. This is the remastered with the 5.1 edition in the Digibook. Got, this has to be my one of my favorite Opeth albums. I love the booklet. Beautiful artwork. 5.1 surround sound mix, Face of Melinda, Godhead's Lament, Benighted, uh, Serenity, Painted Death, so good. Next we have Opeth with Damnation, decent, just kind of more death metal album from them. Uh, no, that was Deliverance, this is Damnation, this is the um, mellow album so to speak there's no distorted guitars or anything like that all clean vocals this is my favorite opeth album i love this uh window pane in my time of me death whispered a lullaby hope leaves to rid the disease uh ending credits weakness every fucking song on this is so good and i love it so much i'll go into detail with it later but i did get the 5.1 remastered version Go ahead, Wyatt, pick on me. Eat my ass. Now we got Opeth with Ghost Reveries. This contains uh, The Grand Conjuration, which was the first Opeth song I heard and absolutely loved. Uh, Ghost of Perdition, The Bang of the Hounds. Excellent album. And we have Watershed. Love this album. Porcelain Hearts, one of my favorite Opeth songs. The Locust Eater. Air Parent. Excellent stuff. Once again, you get the 5.1 editions of those albums. Then I got Heritage. This is the last album from them I give a shit about. I have no hopes for a new album. Because the last one was just god-awful. This was the beginning of their slump. This one still has some pretty decent songs on it. Really dig that cover art where it, it's like the hologram. Or whatever this is called. Really cool. But this is a decent album. I love The Devil's Orc. Or, Devil's Orchard, uh, Slither, 
uh, Famine, great songs. And uh, that's it for this part of my CD collection. And uh, I'll be showing the rest later. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.